Hi everyone, Rune Cloak here. Today I'm playing Nilfgaard. I'm going cultist. I've joined the the Church of the Eternal Eclipse. And I've also bought a few friends. This is a double scenario deck. It's Masquerade Ball, it's um, the Eternal Eclipse, and it's a lot of fun. Um, as some of you may know with the cultist archetype, like one of the problems is that the their scenario is kind of the main t payoff for the whole package. So the idea is to play double scenario. So if they heat wave that one, you're still left with a one scenario that they can't heat wave. Um, and <laughs> just you know that's kind of the idea. Um, also, like I was really wanted to try double scenario in as many factions as I could, and I might try them all. You know, I have a a Gettiness Pirates deck that I might give a whirl to. Okay, um, this is a Calvite deck, so I can mulligan the Usurper, he'll come back to me. So you also don't want this bad tactic, and I didn't draw Calvite round one, but that's fine, I actually do the Eternal Eclipse round one. So that could open up, um, an idea, if I wanted to play it round one. Try to get the carry over as soon as possible. This could be the Sir Scratchalot spam deck. Okay, Van, Van Phillips, the other cultist, which doesn't surprise me, I mean, look at him. Um, another thing you may notice starting this video is I've got this headset with a microphone, so hopefully the audio is clearer than it has been, and um, this all works out. Alright, let's get going. Let's see, I want to save my locks for if they're going to do the cat spam stuff, but they're playing tactical advantage, so maybe not. But I'm expecting some kind of... maybe it's Vi. We'll see. Vi is also okay, I've got a lot of, um, a lot of poisons. Let's see, I could just answer one. I don't think it's going to be infused yet. <laughs> I don't think I just play the Eternal Eclipse right away. I think I should wait to find out what they're doing more, because if this goes in a long round, that's even better. Although... Let's just do this, I think. See how they respond. Tactical advantage is interesting. There's a cave troll, so I am thinking something... Um, potentially Mimi. So maybe I just don't give them... Maybe this is Cat Span- or some kind of Sabbath deck. In that case, I just don't give them anything in my graveyard. Not even a fur cart. Okay, I wish I had a third special to play, but I'm actually just going to pass in 8 cards, I think. Yeah, especially now. Alright, bro. See you later. <laughs> what you gonna do? Are you gonna make- are you gonna, you know, do your combo? In which case I actually don't lose uneven. Or are they just going to pass, beat me uneven, but not have any setup? Nope, they're going for it. Sure thing, pal. I think this is the way you beat the stack. And then they'll have... Okay, so now they have... Just the one cat in the graveyard and then one from this, potentially. I didn't lose uneven. I didn't draw Calvi yet, though, unfortunately. But I can mulligan pretty aggressively to find him. There he is, he just he came to me. And there's a special for for cart, which is actually pretty good. Um, poison... I don't really have any follow-up poison, so maybe I just mulligan this. It's Philippe, what's my next... Okay, I actually don't have any guaranteed draws yet. I'm gonna have to keep this for now. Hmm... Thirsty Dame could be good. Definitely want to keep Master of Ceremonies. Van Morlehem Servant. That could actually be pretty helpful here. Philippe, potentially. Would I rather just have better cards in hand? No, I think actually that can give me an extra lock too from this. Alright, what are you gonna do? I still have no units in my graveyard. If they just drive past, I could just play. I don't think they're gonna drive past, they wanna set up stuff. There's that. I just open Cal V here. I think so, because that makes fur cart better. I 
Bro, it doesn't really matter here. Alright. I mean, they can't stab us. So they can't get Defender back. And if they could, Philip would- not Philip. Vincent would just kill the Defender right away. <laughs> I think I really messed with their game plan. This is the first time I'm fighting this deck, actually, too. But I've watched enough streamers and played enough Sabbath myself to know what makes it weaker. Is that okay? Hmm. It's probably worth it to just play this now. And then if my units are infused and they go to the graveyard, do they come back the same way? If I fur card, I'll drop all. Mm, they own Neromancy. Maybe they just wanted to use the first Neromancy. I don't think I should do anything crazy yet. Okay, I wanted just a special actually. But I guess I have to play Alp. I gotta decide if they want to commit to the bleed. I'm nine points up. I <laughs> have two scenarios in hand. I have multiple aristocrats, multiple. Well, I have two gold cultists too. I can actually do a funny combo with Alp and Van Morlehem Servant, where I just, you know, click the bleeding and then move the bleeding. Okay, now they just pass. Do I play anything else? I definitely want to draw more cards. What am I drawing into? Usurper, Fergus, Prophet, and then Deacon. Or no. Coup de Gras in there too. So these two I'm going to get anyway with my eight cards in hand. Uh, or these two. Or <laughs> Usurper, Coup, and then these two would be nice as well. So I'm trading out Thirsty Dame and Morlham Servant for those two. Likely. Although Bronzes can be pretty good with this deck as well. This can give me an extra lock. I'd rather have Thirsty Dame come out than Fur Cart though, to be fair. So I think I just play Thirsty Dame with that in mind. Oh dear. And yeah, then just for funsies. Okay. Yeah, these are the three that are gonna come out when they um when they Sabbath. And do I want Ku? Yeah, I do actually, yeah. Yes, definitely. Okay, that's great. That's actually that's gonna be good. Profit, profit should be pretty good. And then Fergus is my next card. Is Fergus better than any of these? Hmm. Fergus could be better than Profit, honestly. I already have Locks. Although he's a cultist, I don't know about that. And then that should be fine. The next card's a Deacon, but I already have cultist here, cultist here. And then, so only like Vincent, only even Vincent could be a, a cultist from this, so it's fine. All right, so the ordering, if you have both scenarios, you want to play the Eternal Eclipse first. And then you play Masquerade Ball and, you know, you infuse that unit, proccing the, the Thirsty Dane. There's the Sabbath. Okay, so I actually have to play Vincent first. 
is a bit of a shame. But I already there's already a card in my hand that I couldn't make a cultist. And then just lock, lock the cat. Do I lock this too? Maybe. Yeah. So and I think I just leave this open. <laughs> Up twenty four points. Okay, cool. I have one cultist on the board. Okay. So next I wanna play ball. I can also coup the cat I'm thinking of doing. Okay, there's yeah, there's the purify. The on that. We summon, ye we Rear call. All right. How do I answer him easily? Well, I can. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Okay. I think I have it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I could just. <laughs> I could just do this. That's why I kept it. Oh my god. I, this thirsty dame they already gave me is already an 11. Just from statuses. The Sabbath gave them. Okay, they forfeit. There, there they go. <laughs> I mean, what were they expecting? Get that out of here. Come on. Alright, let's, let's go again. Let's see, maybe someone will let me have a chance to play some cultist actually. I got the cult all assembled everything and the ball like I invited everyone they all showed up and this my opponent didn't want to didn't want to hang out all right so I like my I like this version of the deck that I've come up with here it's devotion um, it's got usurper I think usurper is an important card in the stack um, in case like your plans go haywire you're kind of controlled he's a good point slam card especially in round three playing for um what's he play for I think he plays for 13 on deploy yeah um, and it can be good. Alright, alright. So if against Battle Trance, that's exciting. I wonder. <laughs> okay, so you think you think Gettiness, you think maybe, you know, um, Mask of Orbis. Makes sense. They're on the party. See, they want to show up to the party. They want to hang out. Hello? Gwent? Are you there? I want to make some mulligans. Okay, there we go. All right, so again, you can mulligan usurper. Hmm. Hot cultist. Let's find out who my cultists are this game. Their stadium could be good. Maybe I mulligan diplomacy. <laughs> Another diplomacy. All right, that's the thing with this deck. Um, okay, so Calvid is actually a cultist himself, and Fergus is the other one. It's just a crow clan creature opening up. I think I have the tourney joust. See you later. You wanna try another proactive play? We'll see what happens. Okay, <laughs> that sounds so mean. Alright, so maybe Furcart will draw Calvite. That'd be nice. I also gotta be wary of where Furcart can um, give Kudu. Okay, they likely don't. I don't think they click this because I don't think damage on it. So I need a 50 50 on the Furcart here. Well, I could actually do this. There's gonna be a lot of lock targets. Yeah, it's fine. Just do it like this. There's Calvi. Okay. <laughs> oh man, what a bad timing. Um, and I got the 50/50 off. Okay, it's fine. Do I just probably lock this anyway? I mean, it's Battle Trance. They're gonna have so many. I I gotta I gotta wait to save it for the. Preachers. Although I will have poisons. And I'd like to win this round. I'm just gonna say I have enough control on my own that I can do that. And I can just coup coral. Fear not, yeah, see, okay, I saved like three, four, five points here basically. Thank you. Yeah, four to five points. 
Swallow Fanatic. Are they playing um, Artist? That'd be cool. Always am a fan of artists. You know, we got the SK cultist versus the NG cultist. Okay. Hmm. Is there any I don't actually want to discard anything though. Maybe the Thirsty Dame? I actually kind of play a few cultists and then play Calvite. Just need three. I wonder if we can I don't know if he counts. Oh my god! Oh, I got a cultist from Melusine Cultist! Okay, so I just need. After this card is played, so I think it should count itself. And nothing's infused, so I play this first. Yeah. Or I could just play Master of Ceremonies and then play Calvi. No, I want to keep the Gold Cultist around. It speaks to me in my Actually, hitting this is kind of annoying. Because I'm going to be overkilling if I won. Okay, well, there goes one of my. I just try again, I think. The day is Come on, I got that. Okay, now now we're working out. This is gonna die. Let's see. I mean, I have a. <laughs> oh my god, delirium! Don't kill! Don't kill the initiate. He just got into the cult. Don't kill either of them. Actually, that was perfect. Okay, so we do this. And then we play Calvi. Watch this. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm still need to play another card, or I could tie. But then they get first. I get first day into the next round, drawing all my golds. Actually, I'm okay with the tie. The tie and even cards. That's okay. I played Delirium and Giga Scorpion. It's kind of a very and Gutting Slash. Okay. So I don't want to just give them the round, so I think I just play Coral and then I don't I don't click. First buy on Morkvarg, which is just kinda nothing. I mean if I discarded the Thirsty Dame, I would draw Eclipse. And then I'd be then uh, round two I'd be able to draw a ball. Usurper and Philippe right away. Maybe that's fine. Totem. Alright, that's cool. I never play Eclipse here, of course. Master of Ceremonies is just playing as a 7. Not playing Philip. Hmm. This hand did get a little awkward at the end here. I'm okay with passing. Some another four points, so I'll just be trading a card. This could be carryover. I think I just pass. One red coin, that's okay. I almost got him, I think. And honestly getting totem out of them's not bad. I got some control as well, which is which is nice. Okay, I'm gonna get another good coup target. Not really. I also need, I also need another aristocrat for the ball. And then I think I could leave it there. Hmm. I would need to play Deacon to get another gold cultist, but I could just play this first. Drawing into Ferguson Prophet. Not in that order. <laughs> Alright, I think I leave it. If they try to bleed me, I just play Eclipse. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a bleed. Maybe ball. A ball is better answers to things. But I need to play... No, I think I go Eclipse here. I'll have Tall Punish for the... 
for the preachers. Also this guy. Try to initiate them into my cult. <laughs> you heathens. <laughs> We're dignified. We've got aristocrats. <laughs> Deciding. Fakusha. Probably to the next preacher. Probably why they played around one, honestly. Just to make this go a little easier. Okay. Alright. Okay. Do I try to whittle this down? Or just say I have tall? No, I, I'd still do this. Because if if and when I kill it, um... Yeah. Okay, I actually can't play this until after I've given more stuff cultist tags. Okay, so this hand is a little more awkward than I realized. And then I'm playing this. Oh, wow. Okay, this, this, is a, this is a conundrum here. So I play this. The rest of my hand isn't cultist. Aren't cultist. So I get one extra cultist. But then I would have... I'll be playing it before the proc on this. I think I'd rather play this first. And I guess stack... No, I think I'm just gonna play this. Okay. And then even though... Okay, actually this is, this is just kind of fine. Still have time to play this masquerade ball. There's Artis, yep. Needs a it's a good timing. And then there's the Mardrum. That's not a good idea. Should have buffed the Kakusha. I just I think I lock him. I don't have to do it right now. Play ball first. When you play this before I play either of these two, so maybe I just play this now. By the Would I rather have be a cultist? Be. I usurper. I want a card. I'm playing this round, which I think I'm always playing Vincent this round. I'm always playing Philippe. It's Vincent. Okay, maybe I should have done the lock first. Okay, it's the veteran. Oh. Alright, they have positive stuff for that. Okay, fine. So, now I play this. Oh, these two are both cultists. Okay. Um, I'd rather have draw into this. Oops. No, it's me. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather do that. And then I'm going to lock Artis. Yeah, because they could have more stuff that benefits them. I didn't realize that. I mean, I guess that makes sense to have cards that <laughs> synergize together. Okay, then they just pass. Alright. Okay, so how do I want to play this? I think I play Vincent. And maybe Philippe as well. Let's see, Vincent plays for... Three... He plays for... Play on this one. No. I play for 15. Plus... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, plus another 4, 5, so 25, so he's not enough on his own. But I need to play him now, because otherwise, alright. It's very close, actually, to being enough. Oh, oh, that part too, actually, maybe this is enough. Um, just put on... I think I'm, let's see... I think Philippe, and then... Okay, so this is actually enough because of the second proc of the chat this chapter. Okay, alright. Okay. So we got Philippe, we got Usurper. Alright, we still have a pretty good part amount of golds. That's why I like, um, Calvi in this deck, too. First, I was like, you want to play your bronze cards, but then I'm like, hold on, your gold cards are just gonna be... better. Yeah, I don't try to mulligan for anything else. These are just the cards. 
But Leaf's gonna be a little awkward just in terms of getting good status to my opponent's side of the board, but I guess that's why I have Fergus. Okay, and Fergus is the one I kinda wanna play a little later, because I want Cultist on the board first. He's Adrenaline 2, so I wanna play him. This is Adrenaline 4, so I still have a few turns to play him. So they need to be on the board for the value to increase, so I don't play this. I need to play it before- okay, okay. I think I play Philippe first. I don't have a vampire anyway, so he's never getting zeal. Alright, that makes sense to me. And then this- I need to play Prophet next. So, Philippe got the cultist tag after others did. Okay, there's that. So, that's a little unfortunate, but actually it's not because I can just start killing this. Alright, next card they play is locked. What are their options? I mean, I imagine they have a handful of alchemies in their deck. So... Oh! <laughs> Alright, fine, fine. <laughs> you know, they get the positive lock. Poisoning this. And then... I want to play Deacon next. Spin the wheel? Set the stage. Oh, okay. Alright, so the cultist thing only- w I see. I thought you could give him the cultist tag as long as he's in your hand, but because he has Veil in hand, you can't become a cultist right now. Alright, fair enough. You play Artist? No, okay. Coral. What did they miss? Or maybe they have a discard target? Yeah, okay. I'll finish off the Covenant of Steel. Just make my last- not my last unit, I guess, but- So he wasn't able to become a cultist. He's too far gone. He's too high up in power. <laughs> That's. I mean, it would have been worth. It would have been worth like three points, but it's fine. I already have a cultist here, and then I don't have any infused units, unfortunately. I'm gonna fuse this cultist Trinate. thing. That's pretty good. And then yeah, I don't have any. Um. And then, oh, I probably just wanted to lock. It doesn't matter. I don't think they've... Yeah, they've already played their discard stuff, so I'm just gonna lock Gremist. It's the only one that could give me some trouble, I think. Yeah. Alright, so I missed out on three points by not having them have any infused units on their side of the board. There's Vildkarl. They have no way to... to transform them, though. Alright, I win by five. That was a bit harrowing, but pull through. See what I mean about Usurper? Like, he played for 16. Yeah, he was, let's say he was 16, and we can call, call Fergus um, like a 7 for 6. But I think, you know, you need that kind of big power, especially like when you get bled, which everyone's gonna try to bleed you. As soon as they see you have even one scenario, they're like, okay, I've got a, I've got a 2-0 or just push this guy as much as I can. So Usurper really, really is great in those situations. Let's see who we're up against next. Getty was interesting. Um, also, artist Gettyness. Um, that was that was a cool deck my opponent played. I like I like Gettyness. I always like the Druid archetype. I say that about like every archetype. I feel like I'm just a big fan of Gwent and um, all of it. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, Inspired Zeal. Not sure what kind of deck Inspired Zeal is um, in this season. To be nice, a ceremonial dagger is my shadow gem. It's just like. Because I had the caller, but if you're playing initiate, you actually don't want to lock it the the, the unit you're um, infusing, but you do want to kill it, so that's why that makes sense. Calvi's here. We have one poison. Let's look for a second one. Could play Philippe if I have to. None of these cards are my cultists. Diplomacy, diplomacy, diplomacy. Hmm. Philippe might be a key card later. I might mulligan him. Diplomacy is getting me maybe something. Q's decent, I think. Okay, I drew into Ball, which is actually unfortunate. Round one. 
Okay, Calvite's not a cultist, so I could just play him early. And then that way I can play Dame and Pakra at the same turn if need be. Alright, who's so Usurper's a cultist from the get-go, and then Vincent. Those are pretty good cultist options. I can also use my deacons to make these two cultists too. Meter generator. Okay, it's just like a meter generator deck, so I do need to win round one and push them round two. Which is what they want to do to me, so this is going to be a little difficult. Maybe I should have kept Philippe for that reason. This is not doing anything. Prophet's a card I want to be strategic with. Let's see, the Deacon. Let's play Thirsty Dame. I don't think they're going to kill it. If they do, that just delays their carryover stuff. Have I something in my teeth? Okay. This is just 15 card deck. I always check that now. Or not 15 card deck, 25 card deck, so there's no, no run free. This would be a card I'd like for myself. Carrick City Guard. Don't have any clean answers to that. I could dagger this. I think I want to play first. I could just play this Fangs of the Empire. Just so they don't boost it up higher. Definitely a debate, but... But then I'm also... <laughs> okay, some trick. I guess this just played for 5 on the Thirsty Dane, but whatever. I guess it's a fork, right? If they, well, now if they purify it, well, if they boost it up out of like three point range, then um, they play into a second poison potentially. Okay, Carrick City Guards, sure, sure. They're <laughs> why do they have all these veiled units? That was that seems cheating. All right, so I'm just gonna coup this now. This is my Rafar's vengeance, and that's there's nothing you can do about it. I can't play ball in this round either, so this is pretty important to have some kind of big tempo play. And then this is going to draw into the Eclipse. AA, sure. I wish I actually had poisons in this round. It's just sequencing the way I did. Vernon. That's an early Vernon Roach. And it worked out really well. Where's Vincent? This is front row. Master, <laughs> what's going on here? I'm an officer. I'm yeah, I just for this. Okay, okay. All right. They zealed that for another ping. It's not making any sense. All right. Just you're being very silly right now, opponent. All right. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click this. Do I lock this? Not yet. We're gonna click this. We're gonna play. Play the deacon. Draw into this. I might actually even play it. And make Fergus. Fergus, you're you're now a cult. Join the cult. Oh, actually, okay, they're ahead by one because of the city guards. So one leader charge is worth it. All right. I haven't played a card yet? My god. That changes things. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, um, I have no more cultists in my hand. If I play this... Alright. This is a little bit unusual. I should not have used leader charge. I don't... Rafar tricked me. <laughs> Rafar tricked me. Alright, they're gonna still keep playing actually, which is a huge... Army's a waste of time for me. That doesn't make much sense to me. Okay, I'm gonna just, you know, make a Blista be the first to join the cult. Click the Deacon. Philippe, welcome, welcome to the cult. And then we just play Master of Ceremonies, I think. I don't think I want to play Prophet here. I don't want to play Fergus here. I 
Yeah. This way, if they keep playing. Alright. Future rounds now I have I have some more I have coldest. Carablista, okay, sure. So now I could play Prophet. I'm never getting this deacon back. I don't want to play Fergus, I need aristocrats for the ball. Okay, I'm just gonna play the Prophet. This is a lot of commitment, and I'm also not gonna get the, the proc on this deacon either. But this is just win me the round, like, by a lot. Maybe too much. Okay, alright, I gotta pass here. Hopefully they... I infused a lock unit. I keep forgetting how that works. I was like, it's locked, so there's no reason they're, they're not gonna boost it or anything. I should've made the drummer. I lost a few points doing that. They're still playing. Metallus. I think it's locked. And they're down 13 points, but they have five... They have six points here, so they've seen to seven. Jeez. That's too much. Okay, let's infuse fur cart. Not playing Fergus here. Let's play this Deacon. Infusing this was pretty bad. I should have infused this. I always forget how that works. It's like such a good target. I have so many engines, I think I have to play this. And I'm losing a lot of value. Alright, okay. We're up 25. What are you gonna do? They're gonna play a battering ram. They're gonna zeal the battering ram. And they ram into the master- Okay, they get a shoes, so they're gonna kill my refards I'm not using. Alright, now they still have another 6 point- Jeez. I mean, I can't get 2 0 out here. He's full leader. Got a lot of carryover. Oh, right, I already played one Fangs. Okay, I was like, where's the other one? Just this. And we're gonna play Fergus, I guess. Is this like a round one bleed I'm dealing with? <laughs> Feels like it. Alright, come on. Come on, stop. You, l you look foolish. Alright. Overkill. <sighs> okay, okay. Definitely overkill. Alright, but now I draw into my best golds. And Ku's not really. Well, Ku could work with Fergus potentially. Alright. No, not Fergus. Fergus is gone. It could work with Furcart. Alright. Let's go look for a long round three. I think so, with my cultist power. And the carryover. <laughs> like, all that just to dry pass. But I didn't want to get 2 0 I didn't want to get bled. Siege is very scary. Still have a lock. Still have Philip. Okay. Maxi, sure, sure. She's one of the- she only got buffed once, that's a shame. I wish she got buffed more from their cards. Maybe they drew her with the Siege Master. Okay, there we go. I need a, there's a special. There's another cultist. So, I mean, honestly, I'm missing the initiates. But maybe Furcart can draw them. I just need to find a way to give an enemy unit. Either spying or, um, or just damage it enough for this to work. All right. Yeah, three aristocrats. All right. It's funny. I keep fighting these other scenario decks, like, and especially and ones like not even the new scenarios. Alright, Avalox Sage. Siege, yep. I expected that. So that could be a coup target, honestly. But I don't have to do it right away. And also, I kind of want to have this lock available for other stuff. Just open Masquerade Ball. Oh, 
There's no immediate threat. In another world, cooing this could have been funny. Okay, they just play Bombardment. Sure, sure. Hmm. Nothing to poison. Yeah, I have to play something. It's a shame. Okay, you know what? It's alright. So I have this servant. Under if- okay. Okay, there's Odrin. I say as if I was expecting him, but watch. Watch this. So, is that the worst? I mean, I could- Yeah, okay, I think this is a pretty funny play here. Okay, yeah. So we do this. We do this. And then we do this. Yes. Nice. That worked well. Alright, Philippe. So it's nice having Philippe be a cultist, because I can just... That's 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 a lot of points for sure for sure. Okay. So this will doom something. So for a cart coup, I think. Random damage from bombardment. I could use this to kind of stop that a bit. I think I just want to do this. That's oh, that's rough. Okay, and yeah, I'm always doing this, playing this, alright, and then we're just gonna assume this, it helps with blocking it next turn. Alright, alright. Now it's just a class, <laughs> well I mean I still have all these cultist tags, but it's really, you know, um, and then who is the other? Usurper was the one where he gets the value from the. But there's no infused units again. Kind of awkward making that part of the ability line out to deal three damage to the infused. All right, okay. I need. I need Philip to survive. <coughs> Battering ram. All right, sure, sure. I can just I should be able to kill that pretty conveniently. All right, Philip. All my cultists survived, right? Yeah, it's just trebuchet lost. Not the trebuchet. Yeah, the trebuchet was gone. All right. Um, let's see, I think if I yeah. Wait, how do I play this? If I play Philippe, but not Philippe. Vincent kills this, then I can poison this, and I can lock it. Yes. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the way. Yes. Philippe, killing this, killing poison, poisoning this, locking it. Alright, cool, next turn I can kill this. I'm up by two points. Play Dicey, play Usurper, and then finish up with Diplomacy, I guess. It's a Karak City Guard. Alright, I guess that could have been a Vincent target, but they really just have one more turn. Is the last save just Hensel? I can just kill this though. This opens up a soldier pocket, but it doesn't matter, there's not really any cooldown point anyway. And then I think I just go for this diplomacy, see if I can... Winch is just five, this is six potentially. This is a four, really. Let's go for the... Resistance to fire. Just on this. And then I have a pretty big usurper as a finisher. I have three points here, all right, and then, oh, AA is the last card, okay. I think I have this one. Yeah, it should be okay here. Yay, that was, that was very close. All right, usurper, just go, doom you, all right. <laughs> 
I ended up winning by eight points. Playing scenario round one was definitely sketchy, but it worked out. It worked out. Um, and that's the thing, it's like, it feels bad playing a 15 provision scenario. That kind of is the key to your whole plan, like playing it early, playing it round one especially. But really, once that chapter one's procced, like you get a ton of carry over the rest of the game, which is really good. It makes all your plays feel better. It definitely kept Philippe alive to, to kill multiple engines of my opponents. So, I think it's it's tricky. All these new cards, man, are just so... are very, like, tricky to play and figure out. And the idea of a double scenario deck is definitely pretty gimmicky, I think. Like, it's like half your provisions... not half your provisions, but it's like 30 provisions in two cards. You really need to guarantee draw them. That's why Kelvite was my go-to. Okay, we're up against Onslaught. Likely pirates. Hmm, so they won a long round. I won a long round. But really, I actually want to win round one, bleed round two. Again, winning round one is definitely tricky. Okay, so you're, you two are cultists. So, Mulligan, you... Try to play ball round one. They aren't gonna give me any tall th anything tall round one. I think I mulligan this. Hand's decent. I can get locks with these. So it's Calvi and Usurper, I think. Yeah. All right. I don't have enough cultists to play. I mean, if I can, if I can get this to 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 live. But again, I can't. <laughs> I can't use the locked unit. Gotta remember that one. <laughs> Alright, I think... I could go for some kind of removal here. I think I just do this though. An anointed servant. And then I try to make sure he survives. I use one of my leader charges. Do you want to use one of yours? So here's a long ship. And actually, I'm not gonna... Well, hold on. No, because the idea... Okay, okay. Can I do that? <laughs> it's gonna lock stuff. Save my infusion for something I can kill. Cause then once I have two cultists on the board, I can play Calvi as a wait, no that won't work. I'd already need two cultists on board. Oh, oh how silly. You think I don't have two Van Morlehem servants? You know the Van Morlehem. Wait. I did that too fast. Why do they play this back row? It makes that's make any sense. <laughs> I just noticed. <laughs> what were they thinking? I do some kind of movement thing? I mean, I did just lock it without looking. My goodness. That was a weird... Well, okay. I guess it evens it itself out, because that was a misplay on my opponent's part, and then a misplay on mine. So, it all kind of comes together. Alright, you can just... You can just join me, I think. I don't have cultists for this to work. Why is this so awkward? This ability. It's your fault. I could play this first, but then I'm playing my gold cultist, which doesn't feel good. I think I just get an extra point. Well, I don't have any points in this row anyway. So... I do want to... I do want to play Calvi, I think. But they're not going to let me have the round that easily. Gets me ahead doing it this way though. Oh no it doesn't, the bleed. That's okay, if I have to play Calvite I'm fine with it. <laughs> now they- I mean if they infuse themselves, you know, then Calvite works here. But they don't have any self-infusions. Coral, it's a late Coral. <laughs> they played around my three locks in this round. There's definitely other lock targets, so I don't need to just go for that. Philippe. 
Mm -hmm. I and then I'm at 14, so I need 7. <laughs> okay, they just pass. So I need 7 points. Vincent's enough. I already have two cultists with Usurper. No, I don't. I have Usurper. Then I have to draw Prophet. See, I'm drawing one, two, three. And then if I mulligan, I mulligan twice, I'll get Koo and Furcart or Prophet. And then I can, if I get Furcart, I can, okay. So I could make it work. Oops, don't want to play this. I'm not going to roll. <laughs> I'm not going to roll a seven on that. I should play the Master of Ceremonies. I think it's worth less than... Is it worth less than Vincent? Or I could just play this and use my other lock. I'm using so many answers though. Okay, why don't I do this? Next, this is a five. This is a... Well, this is actually... A f this is yeah, also a five. So I think we play this. And then just do that. I think I'd rather keep Vincent. <sighs> I mean, it, it was worth trying to roll that, I think, but... Took it a little sketchy. Okay. So that makes my Q worse. This can draw for... This is, this is like a little dicey, but I think it's worth it, ultimately. Mew, so Q. Hopefully I don't draw into Furk Art. Like, I need to draw Profit. It's kind of a 50-50, though, and I can't... Hmm. Well, now I actually have Master of Ceremonies to get things started. Okay, so I lost the 50-50 there. I was trying to get profit. There's definitely a few lines I could have taken there. Hmm, I think I could open... I can just open ball here. And then, yeah, okay. So I likely want to lead with some firepower, like with Croc or Scenario. Still don't know like entirely what their deck is. They're playing Grading Fleet, so it's not. There's a Heat Wave, but again, I have the Scenario, I have the Eternal Eclipse. So why do they do that? I just pass here. Use their Heat Wave, but they could just answer all my um, cultists really. I just want to play now. So did you just play the Eclipse? Pirates in a long round. Can I control them enough with my poison? I don't have poisons anymore. <laughs> hmm. I only have Philippe. I'm gonna draw into a Prophet, Fergus, and a Deacon or a Thirsty Dame. I think I just pass here. This is already going to survive, which is great. Alright. Keep last say. I had to use two leader charges. I didn't want to even either. <laughs> I need five points to get ahead. So, hmm. I'm still not sure, not sure about this matchup. Like, okay. Can I misplayed into their misplay? I'm just still thinking about that Van Morlhem's the second servant into the lock. So I misplayed into their misplay. So I think it does even out. Children, Looks like they have brands too, I'm just noticing. And they always just pass, why would they... Why are they acting like they're thinking here? Just want me to think about what I've done in making this deck. Are they getting themselves together for round three? Hmm. Okay, yeah. They do have some discard stuff with Coral. Okay, this is- I, I mulliganed this after um, I played Calvite, so... Okay, I might not get a fur cart. Is the poison worth it here? It could be. It's a good fur cart, though. Alright, I just got mulligan fur cart. Okay. So, we're kind of all cultist here. 
Is there already a cultist? Okay, okay. Your skull will make a fine time for so there's a Vincent target <laughs> right away. They don't open with any um Do I just wanna make some aristocrats first? Not aristocrats, cultists first before chapter one happens. Let's just open Eclipse. I think I'm gonna play these two first before I play any gold cultists though. Deciding, deciding. Croc, okay. Dare start with me! Mm. Lord of the sea! Uh oh. Don't do that. Fine. Okay, that was scary. Okay, so I need to give Fergus not Fergus. I need to give spying to Croc so I can kill him with Vincent. Can't click this yet. That's unfortunate. Hmm, don't play profit yet. We enact the will of the cosmos. This might be a card I play kinda early ish. You also want to give targets that you think are gonna survive and you're making cult you're making your own cultists. And that's another reason I put Fergus into the deck. Like he synergizes with Usurper, with the Thirsty Dames, he's an aristocrat. Okay, that's just... we'll Alright. They survive. They're still playing failed units though, which is pretty rude. So I just play this other one, I think. Yeah. Spin the wheel? The Philly. Set the stage. Next I'll play Fergus. All right, <laughs> what are they gonna do? Hmm, <sighs> Bjorn is a nice one. Play this card something, that's good, yeah. All right, nice, we got a bronze to infuse, finally. All right, can't infuse him, of course. <laughs> if I could, I'd make Fergus a mage. All right, and then we play Fergus, so we can answer Croc next turn. I sign a treaty with. Nice, there's the everyone's joined the cult. I'm trying to think how I got buffed by three. Like they didn't play Triss. Oh, oh, enchanted armor, right? That was the shadow gem. Which is I found it interesting, I remember, but now they've just gone tall for this. So Vincent's not a cultist, unfortunately. That's okay. And then if they resurrect Croc after I kill him, I can play Philippe and lock him. So that's good. Alright, where are they? Who are they gonna... Damn. Alright. That's, that's unfortunate. Alright. Vincent. Let's answer. I <laughs> like so many points down. It's okay. Um, I need to play Prophet soon though. I've got to do this. Okay. If they Fakusha into Croc, do I just fill it right away? And then I lose the value. I think I have to play Profit next. Just, just have to. Should have played him earlier. Hmm. If they don't Fakusha next, Profit's better anyway. Okay, they just play Bran. That could have been a good card to play after I played Prophet. Alright, and then all my cards are cultists now, so I play... Play Prophet. And I play Deacon. Already all my cards are cultists. Okay, cool. This is looking good. And then I can play any of these three, really. This would be nice, though. Hmm. Wait, they just played Bjorn into a lock. Thanks. 
You're a cultist. Everyone's a cultist. Okay, so I can't give a status to this, unfortunately. Um, kind of actually, let's get some more bodies on the board. No, I'd rather just get Philippe down, though. Honestly, he's just gonna be good. I think I can. Oh right, ha! Huh, nice. I think I should just start trying to kill this. Okay. All right. They said no, Philippe. You don't get a Philippe. All right, Terra the Seas. Sure, sure, sure. Killing another cultist. Okay. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah. No cards are infused. The master of ceremonies, I think. What card goes? They both go like you know to sevens. I already have a seven on the board. All right, let's play this. Cause they have like a wild boar or something. I don't think I win this one. I think they've just done too much control. It, like I said, it was a difficult matchup. I wasn't sure how to play it entirely. <sighs> and the bleed became very awkward once they heat wave my ball. I should have just kept trying to push. Maybe I should have just gone scenario on that round and try to bleed out their stuff. But they're they're not even doing any like long round stuff. They're just playing point slam after point slam. Yeah, I think. I mean, he doesn't die, which is you know good. But I don't think this is worth 37. All right, usurper. Let's find out. Not quite. No, I lose by eight. All right, I think that's that's fair. <laughs> In the way that went down, they played they played very well. They had a ton of control. They did good too, playing those veiled units early. Um, without the ball, I realized I had a good, I had less control and losing both my locks in round one. So there's definitely ways I could have played that differently. I think my round one hand was a bit awkward though, and that I had to use um, either like Vincent or locks or like um, yeah Vincent or leader or you know just like these big commitments. Um, but I, <laughs> I think this deck is a lot of fun. Um, my scenario, my cult scenario, never the eclipse never got heat waved, which is nice. I think that you know says a lot. And also, it didn't get heat waved, and in this last game, I still lost in a a reasonable sense. So I think I'd like to see more, like um, I guess, love and more balance shown to the cult. So <laughs> the cult, um, so it doesn't feel bad winning or losing with it, like winning by a hundred or losing because they heat wave one of your cards. You know that does that is actually a binary kind of thing but i think with ball it helps even that out um well i hope i hope you enjoyed the little trip to the eclipse and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one